Hey y'all, I'm Colleen. I'm a yoga teacher with Project Peaceful Warriors. And today I'm gonna to take you through a 20 minute chair yoga sequence. This practice is super accessible and available to all ages and ability levels. So gather everybody together, grab a chair, and let's practice. First thing we're going to do is we're gonna start off sitting at the edge of our seat and sitting up tall. Rolling your shoulders down your back getting long through the spine. We're gonna practice something Chelsea taught us earlier this week called connected breath. To do connected breath, you take one hand to the heart and one hand to the stomach. And another way to do this is maybe if you're feeling like this whole social distancing things has you feeling a little lonely, maybe you give yourself a hug. So we'll come here, whichever shape you wanna take, and we're gonna take five deep breaths. We'll take a big breath in through the nose, big breath out through the nose. Four more just like that. Big breath in, big breath out. Big breath in, feel the chest. Exhale. Two more, breath in, and breath out. One more time, biggest breath you've taken all day. Beautiful, exhale, let it go. We'll drop the hands down to the knees, roll the shoulders up towards the ears and down the spine. Do that a couple of times. Keeping that breath in through the nose and out through the nose. And then once you've gone one direction a few times, you can switch it and go the other way. Rolling them backwards and then forwards. I call this the wonky way because it always feels a little bit weird. So we'll do that a few times. One more breath in. Exhale, shoulders can return to a neutral position. Then we'll drop the chin down towards the chest. Breath in. And breath out. On your inhale, take your right ear over your right shoulder. Drop the right shoulder down the back. Big breath in. Big breath out. One more time, breath in. And then on the exhale, bring the chin back to the chest and take the left ear over the left shoulder. Drop the left shoulder away from the ear, creating some space. Big breath in. And breath out. Two more, breath in, and breath out. One more time, breath in. Then on the exhale, the chin can come back to the chest, and then lift. Next, we'll go through a couple of rounds of seated cat and cow, also known as rainbow breath. So we'll take the hands to the knees, just as they are, and on the inhale, you'll lean forward, bringing the shoulders in front of the hips, Shoulder blades come together, and you can look up towards the sky if that feels good for the neck. Breath in. And then as you exhale, hold on to your knees, round through your spine, pressing the spine away from you and looking towards your belly. Beautiful. On the inhale, come back forward. Shoulders in front of hips, look up. And then exhale, round through the spine, looking towards the belly. Let's take three more of those, moving however you like. So once you go forward and back a few times, you can add in any extra movement that feels good for your spine. Rocking from side to side, or looking over one shoulder or the other. Take one more breath. And then on the exhale, we'll come back to a neutral spine. Then we'll take the left hand down to the side of the chair. If you have an arm on your chair, you can hold on to that or you can stabilize by holding on to the side of the seat. So we'll reach the right arm up, press down into the left hand, bend over towards the right. Press down through both feet here and equally down through both hip bones. Roll the right shoulder back, 
Open up through the chest. Big breath in and out. Two more, breath in and out. Last one, breath in. And on the exhale, we rise up, coming back through center. Take the right hand down to the side of the seat, lift the left arm up, and then we bend over towards the right. Check my armpit, how sweaty am I? Very sweaty? Very sweaty. <laughs> what else is new? So we'll open up, big breath in, and breath out. Two more, breath in, and out. One more time, breath in, and on the exhale, we rise back up. Next, we'll take a seated spinal twist. For this, we'll take our left hand over to our right knee, and we'll take our right hand behind us, grabbing onto the seat back. I've just got my hand here at the edge, but you can wrap your hand further around, depending on how warmed up you feel in the spine. So once you're there, start to look over the right shoulder. Sit up tall here, lengthen out through the low back, up through the mid spine. Try not to turn here using your head, but turn with the shoulders instead. Two more breaths. One more breath in. And then on the exhale, we'll come back to center. Take the left hand behind you, right hand comes to left knee, Sit up tall through the spine. Turn to look over your left shoulder. Big breath in and out. Breath in and breath out. One more time. Breath in. And on the exhale, we'll come back through center. Next, we'll come to a seated heart opener. So for this, you can hold on to the backs of your chair. If you've got a seat back that comes down lower, you can hold on to that. Hold on to the sides of the seat, wherever feels good for you. And then we're gonna to start to lean forward. Now, you want to feel in your arms like you're trying to pull the chair off of the floor, but at the same time, pressing down into the hips so you're sticking the chair down into the ground. Then, Roll your shoulder blades together on your back. And if it feels good, you can either look down towards the floor or you can drop your head back. Look up towards the sky, open through the throat. Big breath in and out. Let's do three more like this. Breath in and out. Breath in. And on the exhale, we come back through center, release. We're gonna bring space in between our knees now and come into a seated forward fold. So there's a few different ways that you can do this. You can come forward and rest your elbows on your knees. Drop the chin down towards the chest. I like to connect my fingers here just to give my hands a point of energy. Another option here is to take the hands down towards the floor or you can reach opposite hands for opposite elbows and fold forward. Wherever you are, drop your chin towards your chest. If it feels good, shake your head yes, and then shake your head no. Take four more breaths here. And in postures like a forward fold, this is a really great time to listen to the quality of your breath. You can really hear it when you're more focused inward. So listen to the sound of the breath coming in and the breath moving out. Two more, breath in. And breath out. One more breath in. And then on the exhale, release both of the hands down to the floor. We'll take the right hand, you can either stay on the fingertips or lower down onto the palm. And we'll take the left hand up to the sky, opening up for another twist. 
We'll be here for five breaths. Four more. One thing that yoga is really good at is teaching us how to be with discomfort. In moments like this, I get to say how long we get to be in certain postures that may be uncomfortable, but this is training us for moments like right now when we're not really sure how long we're gonna have to live with this. We don't know how long we're going to be uncomfortable. And this practice helps us stay with that discomfort, to stay with what is unknown, to be present while we're doing it and not getting distracted by all of the other things that can take us away from right now. Drop the left hand down, and we'll take the right hand up. That was definitely more than five breaths. I'm sorry, Josh. Big breath in, and breath out. Another option here is to stay on the elbow. Two more, breath in, breath out. Last time, breath in. Then on the exhale, drop the right knee to the right elbow. So we're gonna come back here and we're gonna take a modified goddess squat, seated. So we'll walk the feet out even wider, opening up into the hips. It may feel better to sit at the edge of your seat. So you can really find that openness through the hips. So here, we'll take the hands to the insides of the knees, gently press them away from you. The toes point out, lengthen up tall through the spine. For the last three breaths in this pose, we're gonna to try to mix it up. Coming up onto the toes, lifting the heels off, and maybe taking the hands out to goalpost. One more breath in, just like this. Exhale, drop the heels down, drop the hands down. From here, we'll walk the feet back together. We're gonna to start by taking the left leg, the right leg, out long to the side. So, Josh, you may have to turn your chair. Yeah, perfect. That works. Sit like that. So, you'll take your right leg out first, and you'll keep your front leg, the left leg, pointed straight ahead, true north. Right hand is going to come to your right thigh. Left arm is going to reach up and over, coming into a seated gate pose. Beautiful, Josh. Looking great. We'll take four more breaths here. Continue to open up through the chest. Big breath in. Big breath out, lengthening out through the fingertips. Feeling long all the way from the hip, all the way out. One more breath in. As we exhale, we'll come up using the core to lift. And then we'll take our left foot out to the side. So we'll keep our right leg out long, take the left elbow to the left knee, reach the right arm up. You may have to adjust your seat where you've just got like the left cheek on the chair. So here we'll open up through the shoulder, roll it back. The gaze can either be down at your left toes or up towards the ceiling or the sky if that feels good for your neck. Four more breaths here. Breath in, breath out. Two more, breath in and out. One more breath. And on the exhale, we rise up. We'll take the right foot back into the center and then we'll switch it out and take it to the other side. So we'll take this left leg, all the way out. Maybe adjust your seat where just the right cheek is on your chair. And then take the left hand down to the left thigh, right arm reaches up, over. Gate pose.
does. Something I like to pay attention to when I'm doing yoga is how my breath shifts from shape to shape. The quality changes depending on what our body is doing, depending on what state we're in. Our breath will adapt and change, often sending us messages with how we want to respond. So in postures that feel challenging, we may notice the breath become short. All right, on the exhale, let's come up. And then we'll take it over. Right foot, oops, points out to the side. And we'll take the right elbow to the right knee, left arm reaches up. Three more breaths. Three more slow, deep, deliberate breaths. One more breath in. On the exhale, we'll come back up. We'll bring our feet back into center. And we'll take a seated child's pose. Folding the chest over the legs, dropping the hands down towards the floor. The palms can be facing up or the hands can be grounding down. So here we can rest our chest against the legs and then bring your chin to your chest. We'll take five breaths here. Two more breaths. Last one, breath in. And then on the exhale, we'll rise up, hands come to the knees, and we lift. For our final posture today, we're going to sit back into our chair take a small back bend. So here, you can hold on to the backs of the seat, or you can take your hands to the back of your head and interlace your fingers. We're going to drop back. If you've got your hands behind your head, use that as a cradle, lean back. I'm leaning up against the wall here. This is a gentle back bend. You can take it deeper if you like. down to the knees and we'll take a couple moments in a seated savasana. Another option that you do is lay on the floor and take your shins to the seat bottom like this. That's an option. So for our savasana we're just going to take a couple moments with our palms either facing down you're feeling more grounded, more focused, or if you want to invite in a feeling of receptivity and openness, like Hannah taught us earlier this week, you can flip your palms facing up. So we'll sit back in our chair, getting comfortable. You can start to soften the eyes, maybe taking the gaze down towards the floor, or if you feel comfortable, closing the eyes. Here, just breathe in and out through the nose, no need to change anything. Notice the thoughts. I like to think of my thoughts kind of like water running out of a faucet. The goal of our meditation is to keep the water running, 
not to catch the water because as soon as you catch it, it's not running water anymore. And our thoughts are the same way. What we can practice is allowing the water to run and notice every time we try to catch a thought and stay with it or hold on to it. last final breath, seeing if you can release any extra tension that you might be holding in the body. You may notice that tension in your feet or in your shoulders, in your jaw or in your eyes. Maybe it's in your belly or your hips. For the next couple moments, Release that holding. When you're ready, We'll gently begin to open the eyes, coming back into the space. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please look for more videos like this coming from Project Peaceful Warriors very soon in these coming weeks of quarantine. And please remember to take three deep breaths. If that is all you do today, take three deep breaths.